All right, Luffy is in the body of a giant and a skeleton named Brooke is fighting to get his soul back. Welcome to Thriller Bark. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster, I Shinobi. We have episodes 353 and 354 of our One Piece watch through the day. In the last two oars, this giant beast was revived with Luffy's shadow in him. I guess we'll see how much he actually listens to Gecko Moria and how much he obeys. And we also got a little bit more insight as to whenever Brooke originally confronted his shadow in the body that his shadow was put in. And it's kind of set up for a fight between the two. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big boy bell and let's hop into the these run <laughs> these shots sometimes i can't such a wacky situation honestly thank god frankie's here i'm gonna keep it a buck it would be like even more dire without him thank goodness we recruited this man it's gonna cut to him just sitting there eating actually this might still be this might be at the point where he's broken out yeah you can already see sunny it is so large Oh my god, who's up? <laughs> I was like, who's following them? Didn't they take whatever was on? So I guess they didn't have any treasure. There wasn't really anything to take. Oh, they took their food. That's right. Oh, Sanji's going to be pissed. Yeah, it's not a big shocker. They dirtied up Sunny too? Oh my gosh, they left a mess. What animals, man. Absolute animals. It's a brand new ship, guys. Friend borrowed the rental and they just they gave it back this in this shape. Just disgusting. That's what I was saying. They didn't have much money anyways. What do you smell, Choppa? Some bees. Oh, they didn't hear. But Brooke told those two. Brooke told Robin and, and Frankie that it'd be two days, right? Oh, they put him inside just in case the sun comes out. Or I guess when daylight hits. It's a haunted ship now. Split up, gang. Oh my gosh. What a mess. Like how they had their wanted posters hung up. Dude, that room, like the aquarium, is crazy nice. Zombies are the bodies. Wait, did they pose them? Why are they sitting up? I figured they'd be laying down. Set, they set them up? Oh my gosh. There's a boot on Zoro! Merciless. <laughs> oh gosh. I wonder if there's any way to wake him up. Bro, he's actually gonna hurt them. No, there's gonna. I feel like there's gonna be some method that you have to use. Maybe salt? Ricky, no! Just puts his. Damn, that was pretty brave of Usopp. Just put his hand in front of the barrel. Good thinking. Good thinking. Hot master swordsman with meat. No way. He got the trifecta in one foul swoop. Hot master swordsman's food. My goodness. That's what does it. Here I am thinking they have to perform some ritual or something. I swear to God. Oh, uh, back to the wedding reception? Preparations? Wait, what about Lola? She's gonna be pissed if she, like, catches a whiff of this. My water just shot out on my keyboard. It's like, spilling over. Bro has, like, 10 wedding dresses prepped and ready. Kind of weird, man. Ooh, it's gorgeous. Nami would rock it. Just, uh, she doesn't want to, you know? Oh my gosh, it's like perfect. It's got them One Piece woman dimensions. What? No. Surely not. Surely not! She's gonna grab his hand. I just know it, right? Don't make me uncomfortable. Is that for them looking? The naked flesh. It seems like he's trying to be respectful about it, but this is still against her will. Wait, is he going to be pissed at them? Oh, he was just chilling invisible. Bro is embarrassed. You've done far worse already. Oh my God, the priest. Is he not in the least bit embarrassed? Not even remotely. This has to stem from some trauma or something. I don't know. Oh, he's still in fighting mode. Okay, at least it's like completely Luffy still. It's just the shadow's gone. But now they have a really good idea of what's going on and how to prepare, especially with the whole salt thing. <laughs> oh, the drawing is like, nice. I don't even have to remember the shadows. No, they're actually like broke, broke. They got like a top of the line Mercedes Benz, which is nothing inside. 
just cheese and dice bread. Bro has been awake for like 10 minutes. Yeah, they got caught really easily. I won't even lie. Cheese doesn't cut it. It's supposed to go with the meats. Says you. We're trying. I feel like he should count himself lucky that Usopp, Chopper, and, and well, not Nami anymore. Robin and Frankie showed up. They're the ones that woke him up. <laughs> <laughs> and the salt thing the salt thing is the most important guys come on let's touch on that first it's literally the entire counter to our enemy oh my god so like if they got like a single cut in on ores like they put salt on a blade and then cut ores then just bada bing bada boom yeah for real you just don't even know who what two or three of the warlords are He's not dressed to the nines, that's for sure. Is it a tutu? I can't tell. Sandals! <laughs> okay, whatever. Dog win. I feel like the dog win's gonna be the easiest target. He literally already turned on the other zombies. What is this? Is this a stage? Is he drawing up a plan? I knew Luffy would be excited. Oh, yeah, we never did hear the question. That's right. Rejected his existence? A skeleton? Oh. What are you doing, Usopp? Oh, he's crushing salt, I think? Oh. What, what question did he ask him? Oh, people react? Oh, damn. Frank can speak from experience, most likely. He's saying like the, he would have to be with them because they accept him? Damn. Oh my gosh. That he would live. <laughs> Sad Yohoho, somber Yohoho. Left behind a crew member. Mm. Oh, that he would return one day to the crew member, so he has to eventually survive to go find them. Bro, I'm gonna be honest, that crew member is probably giving up. He's probably moved on, homie. That's, that's what I'm saying, Frankie. What right do you have? Oh, what does he have? True. They made a promise. Yeah. As lonely as Brooke. Awesome. Oh, what? He was Laboon's crew. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. No. Oh my god, that is so sad. So he has to talk to Luffy. He has to. Oh, Laboon only knew. He's lived all this time for him. He has lived all this time to go back to him. I can my Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. And Luffy knows exactly where he is, man. They know. The OG crew knows. Chopper's lost. Chopper, Robin, and Frankie weren't there. I miss that whale so damn much, man. Gosh. It lives rent free in my head how Luffy painted him to give him a purpose. God, what episode was that? It draws back 300 or so later. Jesus. Your buddies are dead. Technically, Luffy was right. Gosh. <laughs> it's just a flashback of his backstory, man. That is so beautiful. I cannot believe that was Brooke's crew. That is so insane. That is so insane. Now, is is that Laboon? Now? Uh, he looks bigger. Maybe it was just showing him, but Laboon was Brooke's crew. That is that's gonna take up that's gonna take a bit to set in. My goodness gracious. Alright, episode 354. Let's let's go next. Dog. I, I mean Brooke has.
has to go now. Like, they know exactly where Laboon is. I guess, I guess Brooke knows where Laboon would be too, actually. Exactly where they left him originally with that, uh, the lighthouse keep. What was his name? Actually, it's probably on the one piece wall, the wall piece. Uh, is it Crocus? Crocus is on the same sticky note as Laboon, so I'm assuming so. I love this little flashback, like, background type. It looks, it's just so, it's so perfect. It feels like it's been ages since it's been, uh, what's that, what's that resolution? Like, black bar. Ages, man. Uh, was that the first time Mary ever took some significant damage? Reverse mountain? I miss that uh, will so damn much, man. If we go back one day and find Laboon again and something's happened to him, like he's hurt, he's died, anything, I will never forgive this show nor Oda ever. I will hold resentment in my heart for eternity. Oh, I don't think I, I don't think my heart, my small little heart could handle that. So I don't think it can happen, quite frankly. Now I'm thinking about it more and more, dude. The fact that Gecko Moria is a warlord. Seeing him show up at that meeting they had forever ago was it episode 151 would have been so odd. He would have looked so insanely out of place. I mean, the other two, uh, Doflamingo and what's the other's name? Bartholomew? They looked pretty out of place either way. It's so cute, these crew members being filled in on like past adventures. It's so wholesome. Yeah, dude, the, the lighthouse man. I think it is, is Crocus. That was when we met Vivi. And uh, what was the, I don't even remember that guy's name. He did not last very long though. Oh, that's gonna break Chopper's little heart. And those pirates were Brooke's crew. That's crazy that it used to be even more dangerous. Is this just because it was like sort of the start of the pirate era? So people were just going like absolutely sicko mode in the Grand Line and now things are just kind of chill. Not chill, but like things have calmed down a lot. But it's not true because of all the, the tensity between the warlords, the emperors, everything. I actually don't remember the exact reason they left Laboon there. Was it because it was too dangerous? He was so small. His little eye. At least he had Crocus, man. I, it would break my heart if Laboon sat here alone all those years. He didn't have a screw, but he had someone. God, Luffy has to get to Brook, man. He has to talk to him. He has to tell him he's still waiting. It'd probably fill him with just so much joy. Well, also pain too, the fact that he's had to wait, but joy that Laboon's okay. I mean, how many years has it been since they ran into Laboon when they were... How many years has it been since we got to the Grand Line? It's been like months, a year, year and a half? It's kind of hard to tell. God, this still is gonna hurt to look at, man. Oh, jeez. Isn't that a mess? In retrospect, I cannot believe that didn't just annihilate Usopp's mental. Back. Mommy's like, this is why he's able to act like an idiot. He can take it. God dang, Laboon really did give him the smoke, though. See, it wouldn't be right if, if Laboon is dead. Like, we come back one day and find out he died. It wouldn't be right. I mean, no closure to any of that. And especially knowing Brooke was his crew now. He has to be alive. There's just no way. Mm. He gave him the log post for... Was it Alabasta or Drum Island that he gave him? No, Drum Island was a detour to get a, a doctor for Nami. Oh, it was for Whiskey Peak. The thing about Laboon, maybe something's happened to Crocus too this whole time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Despite having literally died, Rook is still trying to keep his promise. It's so beautiful. Now I'm rooting for this goddamn skeleton 20 times more. I was already on his side, but gosh, he has to see Laboon. Mm -hmm. You gotta outsmart yourself. Oh, oh my gosh. I mean, like he could legitimately cut Brook up. But again, the question is how much salt is needed. It is Loki a huge weakness. Haiki a huge weakness. Oh, he does. You're fighting just to see him. Doesn't even have a heart. I was gonna say, does he not have a heart anymore? He like made himself laugh. Oh my gosh. Oh, how permanent is that? He was such a small little whale. It wouldn't matter though. It's 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 the soul. It's what it's all about. It's not what you look like. It's like the shadow. It's like who you are. It's your personality. And he still has himself. <laughs> Bro, he cut him bad. Come on, Brooke! Gosh. Get him, skeleton man! 
Guys, so cracked up. Oh no. Which everyone said resembled you. No. He would recognize the afro. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. My heart, man. It's all about much, how much he can take. That is so far back, Brooke. I'm gonna be honest, man. That is so far. I feel you, Frankie. Frankie, just like me, for real. <laughs> Yo Even if I have to drag him. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, I bet they feel bad for being mean to him originally. I don't blame him. It's, it's really weird. Hell yeah, baby. Let's go. The counterattack. Is that foreshadowing? <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Go! <laughs> I don't think they've ever done anything like that on the outro card. Oh my gosh, what an absolute trip, man. I That took me for a ride. You guys know very well, if you've been watching for a while, that animals especially have such a soft place in my heart. And how just Laboon's story just, uh, it grabbed my heart originally and just threw it five miles away. And knowing the connection it has to, that is just, oh, uh, that's so beautiful. What an, what an amazing, like, piece of world building that is. Just to just have set that up and now we're we've known brooke for a little bit and known a, a general amount of about his story but that one piece of information just connects everything together and it's just so perfect and yet now he has to join like there's no no doubt in my mind they have to get all their shadows back and leave with him he has to come although like i said laboon's pretty far back i don't know it's quite a trip but guys that's been it for episodes 353 and 354 of our one piece walk through it just it just keeps delivering man i'm just i love this show so much if you're new to the channel don't forget to drop a sub before you leave and i'll catch you in the next one peace peace